Well, Jason Gilchrist is an ecologist specialising in stress physiology and conservation of animals and joins us live now. These, uh, this is a very upsetting story and it's yet another casualty of climate change. Is this sadly an unstoppable consequence? Uh, I hope it's not unstoppable. With the changes that humans have made um, to the climate in recent years, there's clearly a certain amount of change that's going to happen no matter what we do now. But the reality is we can still make changes to try to save not just emperor penguins, but other animals that live not just in extreme environments, but on a planetary basis. I mean, these are magnificent creatures and this is their natural habitat. Is there some way that this species will adapt to changing conditions? Yeah, we can't rely on that. Um, so there are three ways that a species can respond to environmental change. Um, one is to move, to migrate. Emperor penguins are an example of a species that because they're living at an extreme in a very cold environment, they've got nowhere else to go. They can't move any farther south than where they breed. They're as far south as they can possibly be. So they can't move. Otherwise, individuals have to adjust themselves physiologically, anatomically, or there has to be evolutionary change uh, between generations. And the reality is that for emperor penguins, as with the majority of wildlife species um, on Earth, populations have been reduced. So there just isn't the population size or the genetic diversity to allow them to adjust. And we're doing this in a period of unprecedentedly rapid um, environmental change. Indeed. And is it the same prospect for other animals who share their habitat? Presumably, yes. It is. But I, I, so I think there's, there's two things to think about here. One is we're looking at animals that are at the extreme. So that makes them all the more interesting and amazing animals amongst the biodiversity that we have on planet Earth. So other animals living in that habitat will similarly be particularly vulnerable um, to global warming, to climate change. But environmental change is happening all across planet Earth. And so it's not just animals at these extreme latitudes in the Arctic, polar bears, for example, and emperor penguins in the Antarctic that are suffering from climate change. So action needs to be taken, not just to think about them, but to think about biodiversity uh, globally. Indeed, to save those wonderful creatures. Jason Gilchrist, ecologist, thank you very much for your insights. Thank you.